Hi, we give God thanks for you today. Welcome to our YouTube channel. And today we'll be speaking about the promise. Yes, that's what we'll be speaking about today. The promise. And oftentimes we really ask ourselves, am I a promise? Yes, you are. Yes, you indeed are a part of the promise. And today, before we start, let us just jump into prior and then afterwards we go into the word. Most righteous God and eternal Father, you are great, you are mighty, you are powerful. My God, there is none like and there is none to compare of your goodness. God, you declared it in your word that this is the day that you have made. And let us rejoice and be glad in it. And Father, even now, God, we are asking you, Jesus, that my God, you will, you will be in this topic today as I give you thanks and I give you praise in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you for watching. And before you go further, just do one thing, like and subscribe and leave a comment. Yes, I'm talking to you. So when we look at the word promise, it means a lot. It means fulfillment. Also, it means to be done. Yes. You know, as I go further, and before I go further, you have a lot of you that are watching, and persons that will be watching after. You know, you may promise God something, that you're going to give your life to God. You may promise God a lot of things, and you have not yet fulfilled it, because there's a lot of things are hindering you from doing or carrying out the mandate that you have actually promised God. Now, I just quickly want to say that God does not owe us anything. We owe God everything. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. And as I read this article today, glory to God. And before we go into our scripture verses, it says, We as children of God should not make promises at all. It doesn't matter if it's to God, our friends, or our children. Sometimes people make promises and they cannot deliver, as we were saying. Sometimes a lot of things get in our way that we cannot carry out the mandate. But quickly ask yourself this question. Who, when do I need to carry out this promise? And today, I just wanna, I want to say to you that you are a part of the promise. And the promise that you promise God has to be done. In Jesus' name, to God be the glory. Now, as we look at these, now, as we look at these scriptures, Ecclesiastic chapter 5 verse 5, it declares, it is better not to make promise than to make one and not keep it. That is clearly seen to you. It makes no sense for you to make a promise. And you know deep within you will not be able to fulfill. It's just like promising God that you will give him your life and you do otherwise. It makes no sense. You make the promise. Yes. It makes no sense. He went on in Proverbs 10 verse 19. He said, Sin is unavoidable. When there is much talk, but whosoever seal his lips is wise. Yes. The Bible said that there is death and life in the power of the tongue. But the Bible also declared in, in Proverbs 10 verse 19. It says, sin is unavoidable. When there is much talking. But the wise one is the one that shuts his mouth. Sometimes things are not good to say. Even if you have plans that are you that you're planning ahead, sometimes it is good to keep your mouth shut and watch God do it. Because that promise and whatever God has promised you, it has to come in 
fulfillment. Yes. And whatever God promised you, it does not need man work. So sometimes you think that when persons promise you something, it's good to tell another person. No. The Bible said that sin is unavoidable. You cannot avoid sin. The Bible said that we are born in sin and we're shapen in iniquity. Glory to God. He went on in Ezekiel in Ezekiel 5 verse 6. Do not let your mouth make you sin. Yes. And don't defend yourself by telling the temple messenger that the promise you made was a mistake. Wow. That would make God angry and he might wipe out everything you have achieved sometime when you make promises do not go back on your word when you make promises fulfill them do not go back on your word saying that it is a mistake just like when you said that God said it's not for you to go back on your word stick to what god said it is a promise hallelujah hallelujah yes it is a promise just like when you get up and you say god said i should go here stick to the word and the promise it is not a mistake stick to the mandate Yes, do not go back on your word in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. He went on in Proverbs 20 verse 25 and he declared, Don't trap yourself by making rash promises, Holy Ghost, to God. And lonely later, only later, counting the cost. Sometimes when you're at your desperate position or possession, you say, God, if you take me out of this position, I will serve you. And when you when you when God do take you out, you forget God. When you're in a specific valley, you say, God, if you take me out. I will make my lifestyle right. And when God do take you out, you don't remember God. I'm talking to somebody. Yes, I'm talking to you. If God said you're at a position where you desperately need a husband. And you say, God, if you bless him with me or him with me. I will do your work. And then afterwards... When teeth, when teeth start to bite, you forget God's promise. And a lot of you were at a desperate position and you promised God a lot of things. And you turn a blind eye afterwards when God delivered you. I'm talking to you. It's time to fulfill that promise. It's time to make it right in Jesus' name. He went on in Matthew 5 verse 38. He said, just say a simple, yes, I will, or no, I won't. Anything beyond this is from the evil one. He went on in Ephesians 5 verse 17 and he said, Though act through Leslie, but yes, hallelujah. God is a great God. He went in Ephesians 5 verse 17 and he said, Don't act thoughtlessly, but understand what the Lord wants you to do. He went in Romans 12 verse 2 and he said, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but transform by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and, and approve what God will is, is good, pleasing, and perfect will. 
Today I close by saying, Whatever promise you have made to God, it's time to fulfill it. And whatever promise God has made to you, it's time to remind him. He's not a God that he forgets. But sometimes God needs us to remind him of his goodness. Sometimes God needs us to remind us, remind him of his loving kindness and his tender mercies towards us and today I want you to know that the promise of God has been perfect because whatever God has promised you it shall be manifest in Jesus name and whatever you have promised God I pray even now that you will find the hurt in your heart to fulfill that promise in Jesus name and I want to encourage persons that are going through they're going through their ups and their downs I want to encourage you today that even if you're in your desperate position and you make a promise before God let it be a promise of truth because the Bible said that God is a spirit and they that worship him must and will and can and have to worship him in spirit and in truth let your words